Hey yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to some more that Hajimino Epo episode eight. Last episode surprised me. <laughs> uh turns out Epo took the dub against Miata, but just barely. Like he barely grazed that chin, but it was enough to to really kind of throw Miata off. Like he tried to stand up, but he just couldn't. That he was shook. Like that the, the brain won, it wasn't functioning right. The legs won budging. Like he a heart wasn't enough like his legs was just done so it, it definitely was a tough pill to swallow uh i i can understand why he's upset you know because again epo's a rookie you know and miata has been training at this since he was a kid and his he has this dream of like proving that his dad's way of his dad's style of boxing was the truth you know it wasn't the wrong it wasn't it wasn't wrong you know and so i can understand why that was just that was tough for him to take and you know but i am proud of well not, i'm proud of ipo definitely but i'm happy also that um yada's dad congratulated ipo gave him his respects you know and stuff like that like it just goes to show like yada's a great character his dad's obviously a great character can respect you know how good a, and how much potential ipo has um but the episode ended with his dad coming in there to talk to the chief and i'm i know i know for a fact miata's not giving up boxing i know that's not gonna happen like he the dream that he has is too big for him to give up off of one loss in a sparring match so i can kind of guess what might happen like i'm assuming that he's probably just gonna like leave and go train somewhere else or i don't i don't that's that's the only thing that i can think of but i just know he's not quitting that that would just be wild if he decided to do that. So I'm looking forward to this episode. Let's just go ahead and hop on into it. Oh. Well, is, what is he what? Okay, round eight, promise to meet again. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> He doesn't know. I have an idea. I'm pretty sure Miata left. This is confirming it because they're people so happy to kind of see Miata and ask him what he thinks. And then he ain't gonna be able to find him. I don't see him. Where is he at? Facts, facts. You gotta stay healthy, my boy. Oh, that's why he thinks Miata's not there today. Oh my gosh, the, the next day. They're literally building it up. Hmm, I still don't see Miata. Yeah. I wonder at some point, is he gonna ask somebody about it? Oh, well, here we go. Oh. Yeah, he training, he just ain't training in that gym no more. <laughs> Big brother Takamura. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> This man Ebo is such a freaking kind soul, I swear. <laughs> okay, Chief! Okay, Chief! Ah! He just mushed him that time. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa. Well, how about you cool off your head? What's going on with you, Chief? Where's this coming from? It's gotta be going back to what he was wondering about in the beginning of the episode. Mm. Yeah, he does not want to be a match, ain't he? Okay, okay, a Bro, them punches are heavy, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. 
Well, you got a few more miles. Let's get going. <laughs> right, Ebo's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I show up to, to train every day. He's still mad at me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay, Evo, we'll see. Come on. I like it. I like it. Push him. Push him. Oh, wow. Uh, talk that talk, my boy. Okay. Yeah, Ipo dead. <laughs> uh oh, why your hands on your knees? Hands up, punch that air. <laughs> he go. Oh, okay, that's fucked up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, Takamura's um training right now is insane. That is also true. He ain't been eating. He ain't been showering. Stinking ass. Like, for him to have this level of, like, yo, his training, yo, his body is, like, prime. Oh, my gosh. I wonder, was this supposed to be a learning lesson for you? Well, clearly, but. Oh. Him saying that is going, okay. Facts! You telling me somebody gotta be pushing you to make you work hard? Where's that internal motivation? Oh, oh that pissed him off a little bit. Uh-oh. He had to get on this case again. Because when he, before you even started being a boxer, he told you not to take that dream lightly. And now you low-key did it again. You ain't here to be buddy-buddy. You ain't here to be great. Like, okay. Hey, Takamura, bro. I'm telling you, that's why he's my favorite character, man. Because he can he can definitely give you that seriousness. He can be the jokester. Like, bro. Uh, yo, he is dope. You hurt my feelings. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> It was a little bit of both. He probably was hangry, but he also didn't like that you was looking lightly on just that dream of being a boxer. <laughs> you liar! Unless you're talking about somebody's house, because you got invited on the first day of school to a movie. Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> this man living like a slob. This dude is dry, bro. You still got to be hydrated? Like, dang! Whoa, stop and get that moaning out my ear. And this boy Epo said, well, since I'm here waiting. <laughs> the moment he crack it open, here come Takamura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, let me live. <laughs> Tomatoes just like water, ain't it? <laughs> Isn't that just eating a tomato? I mean, I guess. 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 I mean, I Oh, he's a little delinquent, huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. He's like, I was just built to do that. And then the, the crowd was cheering and praising me. I was like, hold on. I like this. This man cold. Because he ain't eating, he ain't drinking, bro. Your body's fighting you. Like that can, yeah. Yeah, that composure. He trying to say face in front of Epo, you know? Oh, man. Don't break. Don't break Takamura. Like, as much as I want him to eat, because I mean, bro, starving yourself ain't the way to do it. 
you got to learn how to properly diet as an athlete but he's seeing takamura like struggle which is something he has honestly never seen there's a whole other side of him but this also should enlighten Ipo. Like, yo, even even those who you think are like super like like built for this, they have their they struggle too. But yeah, now nah, he understands though. Oh, was this? Oh, but he said I'm back and I'm better. Yeah. He's 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 really seeing you know what it takes to be great. You gotta have an internal motivation. Yeah. More perfectly than he expected. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Hey, Takamura, put on a show! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Middleweight. Okay. Uh, uh, too many words. I got I got distracted for a second. Main event. Get round match. Yeah. Let's go, Takamura. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah. The round just started, right? Okay, 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 he ate that, he ate that, he ate that, but guess what? Come on. Okay. Ah, yeah, but he ate that one! I'm gonna get you more! Yeah! I like that. Talk more ain't worried about the motherfuckers in the crowd. Y'all ain't worried about me? I ate, I ain't, I ain't ate nothing but air and a tomato! Yes, sir! Bro, okay. That boy Ebo, he hey, he got that motivation that's been instilled in him now. What? Oh, Miyata. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, he's like, it's about time. I hear you've been looking for me. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Your boy is back. Bro, I, I love Ipo. I love Miata, bro. Like I said, bro, I love the rivalry. Yeah. See, now, now you got that. You got that motivation, Ipo. You saw Takamura be great. You saw what it takes to be a professional. And then you also got to have a, a nice little conversation with Miata. So, you know, no more of thinking, oh, well, Miata still hasn't shown up. Well, now you know. He's done with the gym. But it ain't for nothing because he's embarrassed. He just, he want to, you know, he want to meet you in the, in the ring. You feel me? On a, in an official match, you know? So, hey. I like that. I'm I'm happy for both both of them. Honestly, I'm happy for Takamura also because I need my boy to eat. Like, like seeing seeing that moment of where like I don't know if that was intentional. Like if he wanted Ipo to stay the night because he knew that he was gonna like like he's like oh man at night time oh that's when it hits me the worst when I'm really hungry. Like maybe or maybe it was just a coincidence that you know. He was struggling in the middle of the night. He's like, hold on, I just gotta, I gotta go punch the air a little bit, you know? <laughs> ah, let me walk towards the fridge. No, I can't break, I can't break. You know, like, that could have all just been coincidence, but regardless of whether it was or wasn't, I'm glad that Epo saw that. I'm glad that he realizes that, like, you can't just, you just show up here and try to make friends and think that's gonna be it. Like, sure, you, you know, you're gonna make friends along the way because y'all all are gonna be pretty much bonding with, you know, oh, you know, y'all are boxers. Y'all know what y'all, y'all know what each other goes through, and y'all know how hard it can be and stuff like that. But, you know, you gotta be able to push yourself if you want to be great. You know, you can't let this whole friendship get in the way of, you know, yo, your training. Like Chief saw it. He's like, oh, physically or on the out on the surface, yeah. You know, he putting forth effort, but underneath it all, that mental, he ain't here right now. You know, not all the way. So I'm glad that, you know, he had him go shadow. Uh, Takamura for a while and that really that that helped out a lot so shoot shout out to Takamura shout out to the chief 
Hey, shout out to Miyata for, you know, really getting Ippo's head back on straight. So now he knows, you know, what it is that he needs to do to, you know, be great, you know? So I'm looking forward to the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.